Good morning, friends, or it's morning here. I don't know when you'll read this or watch this, rather. Um, Mary with Angel Yoga Bites here. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to read an excerpt from Henry Nowen's book, um, Turn My Morning Into Dancing, which is beautiful. Um, no matter your faith background or lack of faith background, wherever you stand um, in that department, this just has some real pearls of wisdom especially in this time. So if you're watching this in real time, we are in the middle of uh, a pandemic, which you know all about, so I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> but I hope this excerpt, um, and then the little brief enjoy yoga bite that we do will serve you, will bless you today. So I'm just going to read here. Typically we see such hardship as an obstacle to what we think we should be, healthy, good luck, good looking, free of discomfort. We consider suffering at best annoying, at worst meaningless. We strive to get rid of our pains in whatever way we can. A part of us prefers the illusion that our losses are not real, that they, can't, that they come only as temporary interruptions. We thereby expend much energy in denial, Several temptations feed this denial. Our incessant busyness, for example, becomes a way to escape what must some days be confronted. The world in which we live has much going on. People meet, there's business to accomplish, products to be made, and little space for us. There is often not space for genuine grief and mourning. Our busyness has become a curse. So I won't leave it with that, but what an interesting thought. Here we are, many of us sheltering in place, and I think there's an invitation there. Um, we have a forced break from our busyness if we choose to accept it. So this morning, those who know me know I love my morning beverages. I have a tasty chai tea here, and I'm going to sit and just have a few moments away from the busyness of life. Even life shut in the house can be busy. So my invitation to you this morning, maybe make a cup of your favorite drink <laughs> and just sit, find a comfortable way to sit. I'm sitting cross-legged. I also have a rocking chair that I love to sit in. Um, my posture is terrible in it and I don't care, it feels cozy and comfortable. So how do you feel cozy and comfortable today? How can you embrace some quiet, some stillness, a break from the busyness? Noticing your breath. Noticing if you do have a drink in your hand, how does that feel? Is it warm? Is it cold? Tuning in to the sensations of the body. Is there any tightness anywhere that you can maybe scan your body and just notice that without judgment or frustration about it? Ah, today I have tightness in my neck. Okay, maybe I'll tend to that. Noticing any noises. I can hear the birds chirping outside. If you are watching this video, you have the gift of today, a gift you'll never be given again. And not everyone has the opportunity to live this day, but you do, we do, whatever our limitations, whatever our gifts. May your eyes see today all that which you have been blessed with. Not covering up the things that are struggles, acknowledging those as well, and mourning them, feeling them, allowing them, perhaps even inviting them, the sadness, the frustration. So taking a few more minutes, if you like, a few more breaths,
to simply be in a seated position. Maybe you decided you wanted to lie down, but finding or noticing what it's like to invite some stillness, some non-busyness, a break from the busy. Thank you for being with me this morning or afternoon or evening. And may your body and mind and soul be refreshed from a bit of stillness and awareness of your breath, of your emotions, of that which is around you. May you know today that you are seen and loved, even if you don't have people in front of you um, demonstrating that. Namaste.